All right, welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. I uh, just want to call out for the first video. Uh, this apparently does not do 4K, which is not a big problem for me uh, when you go to try to select it. I also did hook up the PS5 just to see, and it just doesn't pull up 4K, even though it's HDMI 2.1. I tried both HDMI ports. Um, now, the, X, the cable I'm using for this when I tested it direct was the... Um, what was it? The, the it was the Xbox high speed cable. So it wasn't one of the original ones I had. All right. So premise of this video is going to be to take a look at. Let me just show you all real quick. So 4K it just shows this option here. When you go to video modes, you don't have the toggle for allow 4K. So I tried to mess with a couple of these different settings, thinking maybe it was my capture card, but it didn't seem to make a difference as far as putting out a 4K signal. Now here I'm going to just probably click that real quick. Let's go over. So if you pull and one weird thing is that your your controls are like right back here towards the middle of the monitor, which doesn't make the most sense. Let me increase the height a little bit. There it is. All right. So press the button in, you get your audio display. You got your eye saver. Have that off your source, which one thing I'll say um, over time has been the auto source is not that reliable. So when I have this set to auto, it doesn't always switch from DisplayPort to HDMI. So eh, it's kind of a bummer there. Power off is if you press it uh, and then go down. I think you could also hold the power down. Uh, but if you just toggle it down, because it's kind of like a joystick back here, I can mute, unmute. That's down. This is right. It just immediately jumps to source. This is left. It just jumps to source as well. And you could change these in the settings. And this is up. So up is just going to give you your different options as far as brightness, contrast, and things like that. Click in and you can go up the menu. And let's take a look at the menu overall. So for your game, you got your adaptive sync, your black equalizer, your virtual aim point, and then the lights in the back. So these are some of the options that makes it make sure this is clear. And I'm just gonna do here it is. That might make it easier to see. Uh, screen size, you can do 16 by 9, screen fit, or 4 by 3. So depending on what you're trying to do. For your picture, I'm using eco mode, but you've got dynamic, standard, and you can just see how it kind of sh shifts. Uh, custom, original, and let's go FPS, RTS, and it just changes some of the some of the uh, basics there. Movie makes it a little darker, a little bit warmer than normal. Uh, brightness settings, so contrast, sharpness. Remember, if you just toggle on the joystick, you'll be able to actually get there as well. You've got your contrast enhancer. Your color tone, I like warm, uh, but you can change your gamma. So if games are looking a little too dark, um, you can tweak this right here. You've got your color space details and the screensaver just kicked on for the Xbox because I haven't hit the controller in a bit. Um, peak brightness, that seems to be off, but it might just be because, you know, I'm on that HDMI uh, versus or HDR might be on. I'm not too sure there. Again, I'm not a monitor guy, but screen adjustment and then picture reset. So if you mess everything up. You can kind of go back picture in picture mode. I did use, which was pretty dope. I was using it. Um, now, what it does, it kind of creates just a small little screen. And obviously that's picture in picture. But my PC read it as the full screen size. So, so everything was re or, or resized to fit there from the windows and taskbar. And I was just running like a stress test in the background. Decided to throw it on so I could see if it crashed or had an error while I was uh, while I was playing another game. I think I was playing Madden on on a, a console. So, all right, let's go back. So click it in. And then now we're back. I think we left off at picture and picture. So again, you can change the positioning, the source, the second or the sound source. So I can have, let's say I'm listening to music or whatever on my PC, or I'm watching a movie on my PC, but I'm playing a game on the Xbox. You just select the sound source from the smaller screen or the whichever screen you want the sound to come from, uh, screen ratio and so on and so forth. Now, the on-screen display, this section here uh, left a lot wanting. So I was kind of not bummed out, but this was kind of... I was expecting to have an FPS counter like my Acer did, which I did not have here. Um, I wish it did. So, and maybe in something they add later, I don't know. But I, you would, I would like to see that the 120 hertz was actually active and working. I mean, I could tell because it versus like it feeling like stuttery. Um, but yeah, PC AV mode, I have the um, HDMI 2 on AV and the HDMI 1 set for PC. Now it changes the colors a little bit, um, 
But realistically, because I'm trying to play on Xbox, I was looking up and seeing that AV mode was the play. You can downgrade your input version. So HDMI 2.0 and up. I think this right here, I don't know why it says 2.0 and up because it's supposed to be 2.1. But I think this has to do something with um, either not having the full bandwidth of 2.1. And that's why I couldn't do 4K. Um, I think. I'm not sure. So you can look in the forum and see if there's more definitive answers there. Off timer plus. I don't know why everything says plus. It's kind of kind of silly. Uh, right now it's off. You know, it just turns the display off. But for me, it doesn't make too big of a difference. When I turn my console off and when I turn my PC off, it pretty much cuts it off and then does the pixel refresh. Um, so again, auto switch source. This does not work well. Um, by activating a new source connected, a new connected source is displayed automatically. Now, occasionally it works flawlessly. It's just not something that I would say if you're getting this because you know you want hands off. It, it, it ain't the one, right? I have it on and sometimes I turn on the Xbox and then the PC is off and it just won't send the signal. I have to manually do it. Panel care, you got your logo brightness. I put mine on low. Um, pixel refresh, this is just so that, you know, usually this runs automatically. Um, you see, start at power off. It just runs automatically. And then for like 10 minutes, you can't use the monitor, but it kind of resets your pixels. Uh, if you're a fast clicker here, you can do your acceleration, your key repeat time. Power LED on standby and custom setup. So here, you can just kind of select what goes here. So like as a shortcut to the right, it's like your eye saver. But if you use one of these, you can have it set up right here a little bit faster. So if you use picture in picture, um, auto switch. So this will probably be something I could probably do just to flip it to the right. I'm actually going to set that. So that's going to be on the joystick to the right. VR control is if you're using on PC, you can sync it to your GPU. So it's kind of like G-Sync more or less. Um, the way I see it is just going to cap your usage there. And then you got your software updates. Let's actually give this a shot. Um, let's see, you probably have to hook up a USB to this, like through the actual service port, but I don't know. We'll just see. Yeah, no USB device is connected. I'll check and see uh, if there are any updates, but again, reset all, register product. Uh, this was pretty cool because it just gives you a barcode so you can register the actual monitor. But yeah, that's an overview of the on-screen display and the options that you have. Let me know if you have any other questions about the monitor. Again, big thing, couldn't get 4K to work. Um, tried with the straight cable, no, no, um, no capture card, and it just didn't work. So um, hopefully, you know, if y'all are interested in this monitor, like I said, 1440p, 360 hertz, that's all I really wanted it for, for PC anyways. Um, but then on console, I wanted 1440p, 120 hertz, because that definitely makes a difference when you're playing the games. All right, with that, I'll catch y'all on the flip. Be easy.